so it ends. My history comes full circle. Sensing its twin, the wraith blade uncoiled itself from me, and instead wound lovingly around its former self. I felt its grip loosen, and as the blade left me, its absence chilled me more than its presence ever had. A foreboding sense of emptiness and loss stole over me, and a terrible revelation gathered like a storm at the edge of my awareness. With all other foes exhausted, the conjoined blades turned themselves on me, and I realized, finally, why I had sensed nothing when Janos offered me the blade. The Reaver was never forged to be a soul stealing weapon. The ravenous soul devouring entity trapped in the blade was, and always had been, me. This is why the blade was destroyed when Cain tried to strike me down. The Reaver could not devour its own soul. The paradox shattered the blade. So, this was my terrible destiny. To play out this purgatorial cycle of killing eternity. I could not bear it. Despair overwhelmed me. You. myself weakening, unable to hold on any longer. The reaver was too strong, the compulsion to simply let go, too great. And then, a growing sense of vertigo and the familiar displacement, the paradoxical moment when my twin soul hovered both outside and inside the reaver blade. This was the instant. The glimmer of temporal distortion Cain had been counting on all along. This was the edge of the coin. The minute flicker of probability upon which Cain had gambled everything. Now you are free to reclaim your true destiny, Raziel. Behind Cain's eyes, I could see new memories blooming and dying as history labored to reshuffle itself around this monumental obstruction. And I could see by the dawning horror on his face that perhaps we had strained history too far this time. That by trying to alter my fate, I may have introduced a fatal paradox. My God. The Hilda. Three.